Hello YouTube, how is everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I wanted to make a guide on the hacking in this game, the fingerprint scanner and the keypad cracker. And I personally recommend that everybody purchase this one heist prep equipment. Do not purchase the drilling, do not purchase the safe door, and do not purchase the model. Those are kind of a waste of money, but this one is one that would be worth purchasing. So we're going to be starting out the fingerprint scanner. Now this is the easiest one out of all of them. And for the fingerprint scanner, you have to identify four parts of the fingerprint. The fingerprint is on your right. You have to find typically four fingerprints. Some of the keypad machines, they will have you look for one fingerprint. But basically, my tip for this, and I, I wasn't too good at this at the start, but I practiced a lot with this fingerprint scanner and I got really good at it. And me personally, my strategy for this is very simple. For the fingerprint scanner, I noticed there's almost always at least two on the outer edges. So on the outside of the fingerprint all on, around it, usually there is two that are part of it. There's almost always one that's inside, like deep inside the fingerprint, but there's at least two that are around it. So what you want to do is take a look at the outside of the fingerprint, look around it, because that's going to be the easiest parts to spot. Like in this case, you see, I got it no problem there. Let's do the same fingerprint again, but we're going to slow it down. Now look at the bottom right there. See these little triangles? I'm looking on the outside edges. I also see this part right here, that small little space on the right side. And I look on the right side and I see these other triangles. So now I have three. And by process of elimination, I have five left. And I look in the center, I know the last one is probably going to be somewhere inside, and it's this kind of hook thing. Whenever you see that kind of hook thing right inside the fingerprint, it's almost always there. So now we're going to be looking at the next fingerprint right here. We look in the top right, we see that one. I'm going to be looking on the outside. I look at the bottom, I see that one. And I look inside, I see that hook thing. And the fourth one, that is in the bottom left. So I'm looking around it. I'm looking on the edges around the sides of it for those because there's almost always two pictures that are there and there's one that's inside. You're going to want to look for like that kind of hook thing. So now we're going to be doing four fingerprints all over again and I'm going to be guiding you guys for each one and I'm not even going to make one mistake going through all these fingerprints. So let's do this really quick here. Here we have the first one and we're going to be looking on the outside edges. That's on the bottom. This one right here, that's on the right side. This one is inside of it. And that one is inside of it. So two inside, two on the edges outside. We got that one. Moving on to the second one here. We look at the edges. Bottom right there. That one is on the right side. This one is inside. And then this right here, that one is on the top right outside too. We got that. Moving on. Third fingerprint. That one there. That's on the right side of the triangles. Bottom triangles there. That one kind of inside and on the edge too. And the last one is inside. It's that hook thing. We got it. Okay, four fingerprint. We look at the edges. Let's see what we get here. I clicked on that, but then I realized it was the wrong one. Instead, it's this one. That one's on the edge too. This one's on the edge. And now we're going to be looking for one that's inside probably. And we got that one. So three on the edges, one on the inside. And that's that. The fingerprint seems complicated at first, but once you get used to it, it's not that bad. Basically, start on the edges, start on the outside. Look at the outside of the fingerprint because like I said, there's almost always at least two, two to three pictures that are on the outside and there's almost always one picture that is on the inside and when you're looking at the inside try to find that hook thing because it's usually that like little hook symbol in there a part of the fingerprint I shouldn't even be calling it a symbol because it is part of the fingerprint but kind of like that hook shape inside the fingerprint and when you start getting them you actually do a process of elimination you start eliminating them so like you get like three and then you have like five left because there is eight in total that you can pick from and only four are the right ones. So to start out on the outside and then work your way inside. Pretty simple on that. Okay, next we are going to be doing the keypad hack. Now this hack, when people look at the screen, they're like, oh no, not this thing. Like people really hate this thing. And I agree, it is kind of challenging. It's really hard, but I figured out some things how to make this one easier. The first thing that I'm going to say in regards to this hack is the easiest way to actually complete this hack and pretty much complete it every single time is to just use your phone and take a picture of the screen or even screenshot it with your PlayStation, but using a phone will be easier. The reason that I'm saying this is because I know that I'm going to have people in the comments that are going to say, oh, you could just take a picture of it with your phone. And I guess that kind of makes it easier if you got like no choice, you can do that. But I was trying my best to try to figure out a way to get through this, not have to use the phone 
phone, not have to screenshot it, just try to go off of memory. Is there something that I can do? And what I've been doing basically is whenever they spawn, I try to look for a pattern. Now, it's also important to know which is the right combination. The last two seconds is when the last one will spawn. It makes a different beeping sound. It makes a very unique beeping sound. When that beeping sound spawns, that is the right one that is going to be spawning. And what I look for is I try to look for a pattern. I look for them if they're like right next to each other, they're left to right, or if they're going diagonally. Now, I've done this keypad a lot, and I've almost never gotten ones where it's three across, so it's three in the same line. I've gotten it where it's two in the same line, a space one below or one above, and then two in, two in the same line again, but I've never had it where it's three in the same line. I've had it where it's diagonal three in the, s diagonal three going up, but but I have never had three going across horizontally. I don't know if anybody else has, but me personally, I've just never seen it. So I know it's very unlikely that a third one is going to be in the same line if I'm trying to use process of elimination. So I'm going to be looking for a pattern. Like in this case right here, I saw that the pattern was, it looked like a triangle upside down and a triangle up. So it went down, up, up, and then down. Just like a triangle right there, I got that one right. Now, the most challenging ones are the ones when they're like all over the place. Like in this case right here, you see they're all over the place. There's not really a pattern. They're just going all crazy. Now, try your best to at least memorize at least three or four. That's just my personal opinion. Try your best to at least memorize three or four. When you look at the screen enough and you do this enough, you will kind of get an idea. Try to picture it, get away all the, get all the other distractions out of your mind and just try to focus on the image. Now, there actually is a trick without having to take a picture of it. There actually is a trick to see which is actually the right one, but it will take a little bit. Basically, it'll take about 110 seconds, so almost two minutes. But if you wait till that little screen at the bottom goes down, you see that little scramble thing? You see the little red bars there? It will take 110 seconds for that to go down. And when those 110 seconds go down, it'll start scrambling the thing, and it'll start randomizing them. But it will not randomize the ones that you've already picked. So let's say that you pick, you know, a bunch of them. You pick like four, like in this case for me here. You pick four, but then you have no idea what the other ones are. If you wait till the scramble goes all the way down, it will actually keep yours. So the ones that you selected will still be there, and the other two will just pop up. So in this case, I'm going to be looking at it. Do not look at the rest of the board. Only focus on the ones that you didn't have. You can take advantage of this trick. If you're really patient, you can wait those 110 seconds, and you can wait till the scramble um, goes back up, but you can pretty much only use this one time. You got four minutes, and I mean, you could try to, I guess, fit it in there two times, but it would be very difficult. I would only recommend doing this one time. You can also abort the hack, but if you abort the hack, if you abort it the first time, you will lose all your progress, so you have to do it all over again, and if you abort a second time, the alarm will go off, and if you're trying to do this stealth, that is not going to be helpful. So, like I said, try to look at a pattern, Either take a picture of it with your phone, but if you really want to do it, you know, the way that you're supposed to be doing it, look for a pattern, look for ones that are next to each other. And if you know that they're not next to each other, that can also help you because you know they're not going to be diagonal from each other, they're not going to be left to right, so that can already eliminate spaces that they can be in. And if you really want to find out where the last points are, wait till the scramble goes all the way down, it will reveal the last keypads. So that is that for this hacking guide. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. And if you're new to my channel, enjoy it, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.